Well, game's running a little bit early. Uh, kids are getting ready to have the team prayer, and then the game will be starting here. So a little bit ahead of schedule. What time are we at? Just, right. just one minute after six. No, oh, no, six. Sorry. Five fifty-nine. I'll get there. We're getting there. But uh, if you'll notice number 12 standing in there, that's Caleb Kitts, who uh, it's actually he played for the JV boys and the 14U boys. So he is there because over there under the basket is Titus Smith, who will not be playing tonight. Titus is uh, not feeling so well, so still wants to support the team, but he's not going to be able to play tonight. This Falcons team is going to play somebody they haven't played before. Don't know anything about them. So, should be uh, interesting to see. Falcons points will be guessed. Other teams will be home. And we're on defense to start. Here we go. Back out in their 3 2 defense with some traps. Jake with a nice poke. And oh, almost went over and back. Pressure's good so far. He'll drive. Scoops up, no good. Gage Goulash with a nice rebound. Now it's time to see what the Falcons can do on offense. Ian looking to drive. Strong move. Doesn't like what he sees. Gets it out to Gage. You're good. Cougar with a nice mid-range shot. Doesn't quite fall. Still zeros one minute into the game. Jake with a nice steal. We're going to have a three-on-one. Let's see what we can get. Get finds Cougar for a nice basket. Nice assist from Jacob White. So give him a steal and an assist and give Cougar two points. Oh, oh. Aiden. That 3-2 is doing a good job of disrupting the passes. That Hustleston with another steal. Jacob White will try a three off the heel. Rebound. Back to the Valley. That's who I, that's all I got is the Valley. I think, it, I think they're from Ohio. Yeah, Miami of Ohio. Here's a corner three on its way. It's short. Offensive rebounds back to the valley. Ooh, he looked like he stretched his foot for a travel. Not called, though. Cougar tried to call it. And we're going to get our first jump ball. Or is that a foul? They're going to call foul on, I think they called that on Aiden. I saw a number. Yeah, I saw a number. They didn't hold up the, the fist for the zero. And we have a little kid on the court there. Six man. Yeah. Here's the first three. It's off the mark and out of bounds, oh, I believe. Yep. Faith ball. That's like that's a, that's who we want to have it. Let's get some more points, Falcons, to see how we can do. Ian gets the call, driving to the hoop. He put his hands on him, tried to slow him down, and that's still against the rules. Coach calls out play 42, which I think is a lot like 22. And play two, maybe. Put that ball over to Cougar. Oh, one more pass. Here's a nice look from Jake, and it's good! Ian with the assist on that one. Thank you, Ian. Yeah! They tag middle, but they go right back out to the wing. Inadvertently stepped on his foot. Unlucky, I think we yeah. call that, or something like that. 
Five to two. Cougar finds Aiden for a nice look. Off the mark. Ian, good hustle. And they're just going to say it goes out of bounds first. Five to two. Four forty nine to go in the first. Tip by Jacob White. Cougar comes down with it, gets it back to Gage, and they control it. Yeah, that was either a foul or a travel. I guess they're going to let that go. <laughs> I think there's an un unwritten rule about refs canceling out things. Yeah. Ian with a very nice spin move to the bucket. All right. And he'll go to the line to make it a three-point play, hopefully. The old, the old style way of the three yeah. point play. Three the hard way. So we're gonna get a 30 second time called by the, the Valley. And Ian will get to be well rested for his free throws coming up. Okay. Nice strong start. Yep, yep. I think uh, hopefully their uh, Miami offense doesn't figure out that once they get that pass to the free throw line, they're not looking down towards the lane, towards the corners. And still, just, they want to pass it back out. Yeah, right back into the trap. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they don't figure that out for a while. Five Like we got Mr. Al Dotson with a special guest star appearance on the books. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, scoreboard. 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 Deanna, as, uh, as normal, does the books. Al's making sure that the Falcons yeah. take the first place trophy home. <laughs> and we're back over here, my bad. Yeah. That's good. Coach White is definitely here to keep me in check. <laughs> oh, you're doing just fine. Doing just fine. <laughs> It's uh, oh, good. Yeah. Three point play. I think that should be eight to two. Gage with a nice tap oh. save at Cougar. Yeah, I think that was going to go out on, uh, out on, on the us. the valley, or yeah, was it? I think that was going to go out on us, so that was a good save. Another reach in. They wanted to slap hands there. I think that's at least the third team foul. As I recall, a hand check foul on Ian, another call. That did not result in free throws. Cougar looks to drive. Steady turns it over. We're going to get our first. Oh, was that not a travel? Uh, not called, so eight to four. Al must not have heard me right when he said he's going to help us to that first place. Yeah, no, it looks like he's trying to figure it out now. Both books are showing it, so they'll get it corrected. And we're going to get a, a travel call on Jake. That was not a travel, was it? Yep. And uh, even the referee is agreeing. Not yeah. a travel. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that on the camera. The other kid, the other ref was shaking his head as he's walking down. Yeah. Not a travel, but. It's the one that blows the whistle. I guess he's yeah. the one that counts. <laughs> no, we're just getting the game. Game uh, score corrected. It is eight to four Falcons, and it is the Valley ball when we come back out of this. That's not the uh, not the first time Al's run these boards, so I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Just some technical difficulty. Yep. I've done my share of 
uh, game clocks too, and it is. <laughs> Now they got the team fouls corrected. Now they just need to get another two points for the home team. And I think we'll be all set to resume play. There it is. Falcons set up for defense when play resumes. Al probably getting some words of encouragement as uh, we're in this together. We uh, we'll get it. We'll get it. Nice thing is they had a 15 minute head start to the game, yeah. so be all right. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Falcons. And we're back underway. Gage with a good defense. Ball gets stuck up there. It's going to be a jump ball given back to Faith. They had the possession arrow. The old wedgie play. Looks like they are playing man-to-man -man defense now. Ian looks to drive, gets hit in the hand, and uh, I think they're just calling it out of bounds. I think they got a size mismatch. Looks like Jacob's being guarded by a younger, smaller player. I want to find that matchup. Look for the post. See if Jacob can post up, maybe. They get it to Ian, who looks to get his first basket. Oh, in and out. And Cougar was a little bit early on his jump. Missed that chance for an offensive rebound. And back we come. Uh, that's those little bunnies hurt. There's a three on its way off the mark, and it comes out after an offensive rebound. Let's hope the Falcons can uh, get more defensive rebounds as they give up an and one play here. On Gage. That is Gage Goulash's first foul. And uh, he's shocked. He's shocked that that was called on him, but it, it was. So. Yeah, it's so just like that, we are down to a one-point game. They're going to have to earn the championship if they want it. Is this on Facebook? It is. It is. Gage loses it on the way up, and now the Valley has his opportunity to take its, I think, its first lead of the game. But they pass it to Jake, who is not a member of the Valley, and we go the other way. Good heads up by Jake, who looks to expose his matchup. He does. Gets oh. fouled, but there's no call. So instead, it just goes as a missed shot, and we come back the other way. They attack middle. Gage with contest. And Aiden comes down with a rebound. So we've been stuck on eight for a little while. I'd like to see us move off that score. Ian with a nice drive, but he's unable to finish with the left. Too strong again. He needs to go back to his first game. He's finishing all his layups. They attack middle again, mid-range shot, bank. He, uh, he missed himself into a bank. But it's good enough to get a one-point lead going the other way. Cougar looks to drive. Passes it over to Ian. Ian sets, waits for a pick. I gets it over to Aiden, who loses it. Gage there to recover. Cougar in the corner. Cougar gets the look he wants. It's on its way, and it's good. Gage with the assist on that one. Falcons reclaim the lead. Tip pass goes out to the corner. Good pressure by the Falcons. We're gonna get a mid-range shot here on its way, no good. The senior Ian Garno with a nice rebound. 27 seconds, he's gonna reset. Good hold for one here. 
Uh, long pass on its way. Jake tries his favorite spot. Oh, a little bit, but a good, good look. And now they're going to hold for the last shot. And Aiden's going to come up and foul. It's only the team third. So we won't be in the bonus. 5.8 seconds left. Aiden will come out. Don't know if that's a second foul or not. I think it is, actually. Because I think he you're had right. The, he had an yeah. early one, yeah. So don't need to get it. Oh, thank you. Yep. You might want to do that. He had, a, he had an early one? Yeah. Two, one. And a prayer was set at the end. Not answered. You got to put it up. All right. So after the first period, we got the Falcons 11, the Valley 9. Both teams still kind of feeling each other out. See the refs are back to encouraging Al again. Yeah, giving some uh, help with the, putting that timer back up to eight minutes. Yep, instead of six, and then uh, probably resetting the fouls back down to zeros. You know, one thing I will say, being on that side of things, they really do look to support each other, and uh, even refs. Oh, yeah. I, I, they want to make sure everything's being handled okay and running smoothly. And, yep. And we've had some clocks today flicker on and off, so it happens. I know it's only one quarter your first time seeing this team, but what do you think your message would be coming out of that first quarter as far as think, offense uh, and defense? I think you nailed it there with the, they're feeling each other, feeling each other out. And, um, I, you know, we'll see if they continue to get that ball moved around. Or, I think they are doing a good job moving the ball around, but just haven't hit most of the shots. So hopefully that continues. Yeah, good things will happen. Keep running the offense, yeah, oh believe yeah. in the process. I haven't seen too many forced things that lead to silly turnovers for easy baskets going the other way. Defensively, like you said, you know, they haven't figured out that if they turn once they get to the middle, there's actually going to be some people yeah. over. Well, we'll see if we get some tips. Looks like uh, David is staying in for Aiden, starting the second. Falcons with a light bench, so they got to be protective when it comes to fouls. And they find the weak side. Contest is good. Rebound, Ian Garno. He got a mighty high up there to try to defend that shot. Good springs. Cougar, nice shot fake. He's going to take it the whole way, and it's yeah. good. It's a double bounce on the back side of the rim. Pressure applied, goes middle. Oh. Kick out for a corner three, it's on its way, it's good. That's kind of what we talked about. They didn't look, they didn't look back out like they did. Now they're coming with a little half court pressure themselves. David, back to Jake, who will try a three. A little far for him. Yep. Seemed like he was. Seemed like that possession was a little bit rushed. Yep. But. Here's another mid-range, and uh, they get, Valley's starting to feel a little comfortable out there, a little bit too comfortable, so we'll see. Here's their half-court trap, and Jacob wisely brings it back out. They just gone for it down low, but couldn't come up to the logo. And 24 is going to get the pick, He's looking to go the whole way, he finds a teammate, and it's good. So a quick 7-0 run puts the Falcons down three. And we'll see how they handle this half-court trap. Jake looks to tie it up. A little strong. Hustles his rebound down. And it, whoa, whoa. Not sure. Uh, I think, yeah. What did you see? I didn't see, uh, I didn't see blue hit that last. I saw white hit the ball and then it go out of bounds. 
Jake looked like he wanted to make a play on it at first. Yeah, he chose not to, so I'm thinking that's what he saw. But that's not the way they rule it, so time to play D. Yep. Bank shot, no good. Ian with another strong rebound. 13 to 16, six to go in the second. And Ian, uh, even though it's his fifth year being a, on varsity, well, it's his, it's his religious uh, scab there that he's got on there. And... Second time this tournament, I believe. Gage doubled, tripled, finds Ian who will try a three. That's too strong. So once again, we're in a half where not a lot of threes falling yet, but I like percentages. And here comes a double, they get it out to the middle. Working it around the perimeter. Here's that middle backdoor cut. Gage there to erase the shot. Great help side defense by Gage. That was a good stop. That sends a message. Let's see if we can get a... Yeah. Build off the momentum. Cougar looking for his... Gage will look to drive. And we're going to get a block. Both, both kids get hit hard on that play. Yeah, that's a lot of body. Yeah. I don't think 24 was expecting that to go on him. Yeah. He's like, what? I got elbowed. Jake with a nice fake. He's going to take it up strong. Yeah. Give that guy two more. 15, 16, five to go. So we get an assist out of the out-of-bounds there, Coach? Or no? That's a good idea. Why not? So I think Cougar threw that one in. A deep three on the other side. That's his second here. He's, uh, he's a shooter. 1915. Ian looks to drive. Oh, Jacob is open the backside for a moment, you know. Didn't, didn't see Cougar will try a three. Oh, oh, it nearly banks in. Hands up, D, hands up, hands up. Tip pass, but it still makes its connection. They look to drive. Gage blocks from behind, grabs the rebound. And uh, got some fans not so thrilled with that last call. Give Jacob White another two on a nice lefty. 17-19. They got Ian on that one. Ian Garno on the foul. I think Gage just only has the one so far. I think so. We've got some uh, Valley fans who might see him <laughs> having a little bit more than the one. Yeah. Free throw good. That's what's on the books. with a nice rebound. And we're going back the other way. Falcons down three. Jake left wide open for three. And it's off. Gage hustles the rebound down. Tries it, no good. David and another player get the ball and it stays Falcons. They make up out of bounds from the four, man. Yeah. I can't, I can't always explain everything that... <laughs> that the refs do here because it doesn't always make sense, but both teams have to play regardless. Jake gets a nice look. He's in rhythm. It's yeah. good! That one Falcons tie it up. That's a deep three for him. But he dribbled ahead of that. You could yeah. tell he was setting himself up for what he likes. Shot on his way, no good. Ian give him another rebound. Handles the double team and pushes it up. He's looking to go coast to coast. Gets an emphatic block. Now, I, I get why the other team is frustrated because yeah. that looked like a very good clean block. 
and it must have been body. All I can say is there must have been body. We'd like to make sure everybody out in listener land knows this is not a rigged game. <laughs> the Falcons have not paid any refs. So other than our entry fee. Yep. Like everybody else. So the results are what the results are. <laughs> Second one no good, but it got the first one that get the lead back. 21-20. Just under three here before halftime. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Good trap. We're gonna get body on Cougar. I believe that's gonna be his first. Team third, possibly. Nope, team second. Just got his body a little too close while he moved. They look corner. Big man for three. Gotta get short. Cougar with a nice rebound gets it stripped immediately. Reverse no good. Ian can't get it. It'll go back out to the valley. Gage with a surprise steal, but it comes out. We're going to get a travel. And Falcon ball. And we got 24. They're one of their best players. He's hobbling. He's going to need to come out for a little bit. But he doesn't get put out first. Still a live play. Gage will find Jake. Boy, I think that's Jake. Oh. Great recovery. I think if Jake has a clean pass, that might have been. Uh, <laughs> I thought he might miss it because yeah. of how he had to, he had to juggle think, it a little bit first. We, uh, we call that a JV pass. <laughs> that was right at his ankles. <laughs> and uh, he had a nice recover, though, and get into his flow for that shot. That was. Uh, that's not the easiest thing to do. But. Oh, but he, he, he's used to JV passes. Yeah. yeah. I like the fact that when. They got down, they didn't let it rattle them. They had a little bit of pressure. They did speed up one time, but right. they they didn't, they eased back into their offense and they realized that once they got it in the half court, they backed right off. So they wisely just take a little bit more time, have a little bit more patience, reset your offense and then go. Yep. Jake hit the three. Jake hit the three. Hands up, Cougar. Hands up, Cougar. They look middle. He's going to get a mid-range shot. It's off. David tips it out to Ian. Ian looks to take it. They try to swap from behind. No good. Jake again from three. Ooh. I think when you're feeling it. You know, you got to do the heat check. And that's yeah, that what that was. A, was. That was a one-two free for Jacob. Thank you, Mr. Garner. Oh, they go back out. And Cougar's got an opportunity for a steal. He doesn't quite get it. And an air ball, but five Falcons there. That's usually odds we like. A nice block. And yeah, Gage's hands came down, but they didn't whistle him. Yeah. Strong drive by Cougar, but it's going to get blocked out of bounds to stay Falcons ball. Jake looks to drive. He loses his handle, and it's going to go out. Hard to be perfect. One and ten to go in the second. Ian with a nice tip. It's going to stay here. Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. Get a reach on Cougar. That's going to be a second just before half. Team third. Be smart, Cougar, be smart, be smart. It might be his third. Or is uh, we're yeah, gonna get Caleb Kitts purple. in for Cougar. Stay disciplined, Caleb. Hands out, hands out, hands out. Three on its way. It's no good. Offensive rebound. They look to pass in and Gage says oh, thank you. I'll take that. I think he was expecting a cutting towards the paint. So we're just under a minute here. 
Falcons have no reason to hurry. They can take their time, get what they want. Ian likes his matchup, but he'll come back out to Caleb. Back out to Ian, finds David, now to Jake. Jake likes his matchup. He goes, I like threes. Whoa, let me show you how I can do another one. I missed who the assist was on that one. Uh, I believe that one's from David McNabb. Yeah, he was on that so side. Wasn't yeah. He? We got video to help us if yeah. we're wrong, too. Ooh. And frustration started to happen yeah. just here before half. Nine, 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 nine seconds. So they slow roll it. Jake finds Ian. Six seconds. He's looking to go the whole way. No good. And we're going to get a half-court attempt way short. And the Falcons will take a nice 30-20 to 20 lead going into halftime. Yeah. Hopefully Jacob stays hot. Yeah, so half. very strong three-point shooting by Jake is a difference in this game. Almost the opposite of we'll have to see how this goes because the last game he was a little dry in the first half. Yeah. First quarter was dry, second was hot. Yeah. Two quarters to go, we'll see. But one thing's for sure, the boys are here to play. Oh yeah. They're not just gonna... They're playing for some plastic. Yeah. They're definitely, like you said last night, they're getting some hardware. Yeah, yeah. But do you want your hardware to say two, or hardware to say one? A little bit bigger. Yeah, and bigger. Size difference for sure. Playing really good. Hopefully the defense holds up. This is the most consistent I've seen our offense actually run the offense. And as a coach, you go, now do you understand, guys, why we run an offense? Yeah. <laughs> Kids have been patient, and it's really working off for them um, through the season. They're playing well at the right time of the year. Got some guys trying to show their hardware. Uh, just, yeah, he he was up there. I feel for him. I feel yeah. for him. Titus is doing his best to watch the game. In fact, I think he talked to the opposing team's hurt player. Oh, yeah, to yeah. Maybe pray for him or yeah, offer yeah. him some encouragement. And... Uh, No, but it's been uh, it's been it's been good to see this first half how the Falcons have been playing. But they do have a couple of the uh, you got to watch the fouls. The Saints, the Saints have a couple of shooters, so yes, they do. This ten points can evaporate quick. JV boys could tell you about a sixteen-point lead they were enjoying in the third quarter. As that game, I, I don't know if they tied it, but they sure got close. Uh, oh, within two, maybe? Definitely within yeah, two. I think within two. Did they I think tie? we got to 39 to 37, and then you guys got yeah, it up to I mean, like 45, no, 43. Yeah, that reminds me. I, I forgot to text in my score. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm negligent on my uh, coaching duties. I'm going to break make a brief cameo on the camera here. I'm going to run over and get some foul information yeah, to see good call. Good how call. we're looking at. I should have that. what? Oh, if you can, yeah. Hey, I, you're doing good to watch the foul. The mic's not calling on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't come down. Don't come down with it. You have to stop them and say, well, Better to have two points than two. Keep it up, keep it up. So we've got some good news out of this. Uh, both um, Aiden and Cougar have two fouls, and that's it for people with two fouls. Jake does not have any fouls. Oh. Only um, 
Gage and and Ian, yeah, you have they one. only have one each, which yeah. is really good. It's not bad and going we, to the third. We both know that can change in a, a very short time. With, yeah. with Yep. So it's really about being disciplined, knowing that you're shorthanded, being wise with when and how you foul. we get to see our Falcons come from left to your right across the TV land across the radio your radio dial yeah and Al being reminded we play eight minute quarters and not <laughs> six <laughs> yeah I think that's Al trying to get to that first place trophy a little premature yeah, that must be a uh, preset, uh, a preset on the old box. There. Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I, maybe before this one they had a 14U game or something. Six. Uh, they play six. Yeah, 14U plays six. Yeah. So we're back underway. Falcons get a chance to build on that 10-point lead. Would love to see a nice score to start. Uh, Aiden is in for uh, David. Yep, starters back in. Still in the man-to-man. -man. Gage looks to drive. We're gonna get a call on the floor. And 24, who just got back in after his ankle injury, draws a foul, or commits a foul, excuse me. I wonder if they're gonna call 32, 42, 22. They called the uh, two, two. The standard two on this one. Comes out to Jake, who gets it to Cougar. Who gets it to Ian, to Cougar. He thought about it, and boom! Oh! I lost to be held on to it. Was that an Aiden pass or was that a gauge pass? You know what? I got a little confused myself. Yeah. But I can tell you that Gage got a nice defensive rebound. Comes up strong. And we got a chance to build from 13. Let's do it. Jake gets a pick from Cougar who gives it back. He drives. A little wow. out of control. Doesn't get any foul. And we're gonna get a corner, no, faked for a mid-range, a little strong. Give Ian a look, or a rebound. Got a little wild when the pass got tipped, but Falcons remain under control. They look to penetrate, nothing there. Cougar gives, gets oh, another pick screen. from Jake. He'll try a mid-range, that's good. Pops. Yeah. I think these guys like shooting the ball. Yeah. I wonder if they played together before. They might have, yeah. That was a... Here's a corner three, no good. Cougar with the rebound. So early in the third quarter, oh, uh, now that's what you don't want to see. No, there was not necessary for that. Thankfully, we maintained possession. Right now, you've got the edge. Jake being harassed. But he still gets it out to Gage. He finds Aiden, who finds Cougar. Oh! And, and he matches the first half. A double wedge. He's stuck. Cougar wisely lets yeah. the uh, 24 <laughs> to get that one down. So, possession arrow. I'm not sure I've seen a game with two wedges. Hey, man. I wonder if that ball's a little soft. Might be. Aiden and Jake there to apply pressure. Bounce pass to the corner, no. Now to the wing, a three on its way. Almost could have been a wedgie, but it air balls instead. Just gotta get that ball back. And a nice steal from Ian. He's got no numbers, and he still finds Jake, who'll try another three. And oh. when it's raining threes. One, two, three for Mr. White. Thank you, Ian Garno. Wow, Mr. White is... Uh, MVP. We're gonna, we're gonna show some respect for that show. Almost an over and back there, coach. Don't get lazy here on defense. Good defense. Off the heel. No good. Dribble off a of foot. And that's gonna go back to faith. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yep. he He's gonna overrule it. It's faith ball. It's faith ball. And it's a kick. It was a hit. Blue ball. 
Blue ball. Yep, they get the correction. You can't tell we're faith fans, but. <laughs> no, it really did go. That yeah, it went off really, his foot. It's the right it really call. Did, yeah. Two refs had two different calls. Cougars had an opportunity for three, gave it over to Aiden. Give Gage another rebound. Good rebound. We're going to get it to the Aiden. Yeah, just working back around the perimeter. Cougar tries to go around his back, can't get control of it, and we go back the other way. Would have been nice to get a couple points there, but. Yeah. And they lose the pass oh. out of bounds, going back to the Falcons. That's, that hurts. That hurts. So, Falcons with an opportunity here to kind of put this thing even further away. Coach is going to call timeout. Is that a. Uh... Just to make sure they probably got their rest, that they're feeling good. Yep. He's going to call a full, full timeout. You gotta like overall what you're seeing here. I do. I think it's a good time for a call, uh, a timeout. Get them centered a little bit. They were getting a little sloppy, and you don't want to open that door for them to uh, come back. So, yeah, I think it's hard sometimes as a player when you're already up by maybe 18, not to start to get a little bit more complacent because it's feeling easier. I uh, yeah. I don't I, know what there is to that. I understand the words, but. Uh, Boy, I tell you what, when this is the last game you're going to play here for the weekend, I don't think you want to let up at all. At least, at least not the silly stuff. Maybe push it up to 40. Well, and then we have to see. Yeah, if this is fourth quarter, that's a different story. It's still the third. It's definitely not over. You know, definitely not over. 38-20, four and 35 to go. I think the refs are going over their call from earlier see how they were both on a different page. And here we go. So we'll see if the refs uh, agree with that. They do a makeup call here quick. <laughs> Falcons keep a perimeter. Still man-to-man -man defense. Jake looking to get it, he gets it. Now they're looking to gauge into the post. Can they get it in? He wants it, instead he'll set a screen. Got a couple trips, but they still maintain the ball. There is no shot clock, so we don't have to worry about getting a shot off. Gage looks to make a pass that uh, too far behind for Aiden to even get any hand on it. Over in the back. Well, they unfortunately come out of the timeout and do not get any points. A lot yeah. of contact we could hear over here, so yeah. not a surprise they're going to call that on. See if we can get a number, Coach. Uh, I'm thinking it's three, but uh, I did not see indication. Yeah, looks like Deanna's still waiting for it too, maybe. Free throw good. I'm going to guess it's Gage because he's the one talking with the ref about it, and Ian doesn't seem to show that same kind of interest. Two points. Two points on that. Two first points and a personal foul against Gage. That's not good. Their first two of the corner. Jake spinning mid-range. Oh, Oh, he's cooking tonight, oh, coach. Oh, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. He certainly didn't learn that from me. Gage with a nice block, swats it out. Keeps it out of that paint. And Cougar will come get the steal. Oh, he, and gets, to, he gets his hand held. And he gets no call on the other end. Yeah. Maybe that's your makeup call. Here's a three, a good look on its way. Boy, and Aiden, I don't oh. know if you don't call a foul there. Yeah, that's uh, that's on number 20. Yeah, and that's number three on number 20, so we'll see how Coach handles it. You don't want a fourth one here in the third quarter. You're up 18. Here's a nice trap to the corner, but they get it wisely back out. 
Look to trap again. Deep three on its way, and boy, if there's one thing I'll say about the Valley so far in this game is they're cold. Their shooting is off the mark tonight. Yeah. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a normal thing, but they're just not making shots. Even open looks. 40 to 22. Two and 45 to go in the third. Before he crawled, I mean, walk before uh, he dribbled. Yeah, yeah. Well, well happy feet. They gotta watch that. They need to take advantage of these possessions. I know. Try to keep any hope of a comeback out of their mind. Here's a nice one, oh. and it will not go. Oh man, it's like there's a lid on that hoop. Cougar's eyes are big for three. Oh. You know, but Gage is taller and the ball is a long rebound. Jake almost with another rebound. And that is the foul that we did not want to see. I, I'm going to see a substitution coming. Yep. Because that is number four on Aiden Huddleston. Let's go, David. Oh. Yeah, he just came in and made contact from behind. Two fouls here in the third quarter from Aiden. It means he's going to be on the bench the rest of the way. Here's a drive. Collision. Gage will get his second foul. Third foul. Excuse me. Better off just standing there with your feet on the ground. So this is where I was saying things can kind of turn in a hurry. Oh, yeah. Just uh, have, to, have to see how Gage responds. Kind of as a player, you got to know, all right, you got the big lead. You're more valuable staying in the game than watching it. Yeah, yeah. So. Another two points and the foul. Yeah. That's the second time you've said that to me. Yeah. Or to the, to the listeners, too. 40-24. Yeah. Out of contact. Eight. Oh, wow. Great oh. pass. Cougar unable to finish, but he is able to get the ball back. A lot of contact. He's going to draw the foul. That is only the team's second for the Valley. So it'll be a side out of bounds with a minute 46 here in the third. Or excuse me, underneath the basket. Ian looks open. It's there. Gets contacted. Yeah, Give him two free throws. That was a good call. A good, well executed out of bounds player. Anytime you can get the basket like that, good things are bound to happen. As long as you don't make those JV passes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so let's see if he can make these uh, count here. Oh. Uh, okay, he's one for three on the night. Let's get this second one. Cash yeah. money. He made the adjustment. 17. 40, yeah, sorry, 41-24. <laughs> Minute 43. Corner three from the shooter. Short. But another offensive rebound. And another three. That's way long. And that's going to go out of bounds. And thankfully there's three refs. So even if it looked like from this angle that might be good. The one that was right there could easily spot that was indeed out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah, Gage was definitely playing a little hesitant there on the rebounds. Got to be smart, so. Yeah. Three fouls doesn't sound as bad as four. He's going to pop and Gage stop. Gets his shot. And oh! Him. Oh! Oh! I wonder if he'll be signing autographs after the game. Man, he's going to have to get a chauffeur drive home oh, after that. Man. Sprinkles on the ice cream for that. Yeah. Damn. 44 24. I, I said it last night. I'm going to say it again. I think he likes playing basketball. And even though Al gave him the other team the point, it is 44 to 24, Falcons. And a very late reach in call. They'll, they'll correct it at the end of the quarter if they don't get it before the quarter here. I think he's being told about it. Yeah, they're going to get the score corrected. 
So they're going to the line. They got five fouls. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I read that wrong. Sorry, coach. And now it truly is 25 points for the home team. So Caleb comes in for Cougar. Caleb's, uh, he's woken up early, played a couple games already today. Yes, he has. Second one good. 26-44, your real score. And I can hear him talking about it at the scores table. Ian with a oh, strong move yeah. and a nice layup. Nice baseline cut there. 46-26, Falcons. He put the appropriate amount of strength on that shot. 30 seconds to go. Here's another corner three. Is it good? It is. 46-30. No, 46-29. Let's hope the Falcons hold for one. I'm not sure you, how you get an over and back on that, but hey, look, that is the call. It looked like his foot was down, but uh, that's not what they call. 14 seconds. So instead of us being able to hold for one, let's see if they give up one. Oh, Gage, of huge foul, you gotta call it. And again, knowing the situation, totally you're valuable to stay in the game. We need you in the game. There's under eight seconds in the, in the order, and you pick up foul number four. So we'll see how coach adjusts to this. Yeah, I'm not sure if he just forgets or what. Uh, It's good. 46-30. 31. I think 31. Score's got to be corrected yet, Coach. We'll oh, see. I thought... We'll see. Jacob oh. gets, gets some contact. No call. And we're going to get it corrected. We'll see if I'm seeing it right. Should be 46-30 when we come back to the fourth quarter. Deanna is all over it. I can see her going through it right now. That's why you have scores table. So you have each side having a bookkeeper who keeps stats. So we temporarily lost Coach White. He's <laughs> refilling some water bottles for the, uh, the boys as they are definitely needing some drinks. Yeah. It was 43 to 24. Jake Jake made the free throw, which made it 44 to 24. Instead, they gave it to, yep, and there we have it. Just needed to trust the process. So it's corrected now. Falcons will get the ball, 16 point lead. Starters are in. No fouls, Aiden. You gotta use your, you got it, man. Be smart. Falcons control it. They are in their spread offense. They're looking like a five out as they continue to play man-to-man -man defense. Ian finds Aiden. Might have got away with a travel right there. Jake takes it. Oh my goodness, is this kid on fire or what? Tough shot, he makes it. 48-30. Pressure applied. Two-point sh two shot on its way, no good. Eight. Ian with another great defensive rebound. We go the other way. 
Ian looks to drive. Will we see his patented spin? No. Finds Aiden. It's off the mark. So now they're hustling back. Looks to go the whole way. And nobody there to stop it. Jake did try to jump up, but had a good angle for an easy one. 48-32. Crowd trying to bring their team back in it. We are the road dog. He will find Jake on a, on a corner three. No good. He is human after all. They look to push up. They find their star player who's going to try to go all the way and just not finding it tonight. So we will pull back and slowly, wisely bring it up. No need to rush when you're up 16. Force things. Let it come. Gage going to drive all the way and he's got it. He's, oh, man. Give him two. Already on the left with a little body twist. Yeah. Almost a steal from the Falcons. And a JV pass gets mishandled and not able to get a shot, but they attack. And just like all night, they just can't seem to convert these baskets. Ian gets it out to Jake. Timeout oh. on the way. Oh. You erased a oh. three, Coach. Coach. Come on. The uh, inner fan in me came out. Sorry. I, I left the announcing gig for a second there. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, he'll hear that again on tape later. Yeah, oh yeah. I did that to Matt two years ago on that court. He had a, I didn't see it in time. He had a breakaway and I was trying, I was looking at the ref, not him. And he's like, yeah. So, if you're going to call a timeout, call it when the ball's down there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, coach acknowledge it. He, he will acknowledge it. He look, he's got a big smile on his face. Would have pushed the lead up to 21. Would have been our biggest lead of the game. Yeah. But uh, I think the Falcons might feel a little bit of confidence going into this last six minutes. What do you think? Well, there's still six minutes, and you know how I still get a little until we're down to about a minute. Yeah. But they do seem to be playing strong. Yeah. Gage doing a little bit of point guard action. Fine, nobody can guard me. I'll take a mid-range. And draws no iron. Oh, don't foul. Threatens to foul, but doesn't. They go to the corner. Get swarmed by the Falcons. Oh, Nothing there. He wants to shoot. He's going to try three. Boy, I don't know what their percentages are, but I got to believe they're below them tonight. Yeah, you know, they look like a team that probably can make them, and they're just not tonight. There's no one pressuring him, so he can stand there as long as he wants. You won't get a five count. Aiden gets all the way through, and he'll yeah. get himself the first Nice job, Aiden. Aiden, hustle, Huddleston. Yeah, they Here's to... a great spot for a trap. Mm. Boy, when you got that half-court line, and finally a three drops for yeah. the Valley. But when you got the half-court line and the out-of-bounds line like that, you got to come yeah. up and trap. You got two extra defenders. Cougar tries to drive all the way. And, and, and in typical Cougar fashion, the arms go up. up. The hands yeah. go up. But it does remain Falcon ball. It did look like he was getting a little uh, assistance, but. Yeah. Just gotta play through that. Jake up to Ian. Finds Gage. Gage back to Ian. He sees he's guarded heavily. Gotta look left, gotta look right. That was not a good That was a force pass to the corner there, and it's stolen. Now Cougar tips it out of bounds. 52-35, 4 and 14 to go. Yeah. Just uh, don't get sloppy here. Stay engaged in the game. Seal the deal. Here's a deep three on its way. In and out, Gage strong, but not able to get yeah, there. That hit both sides of the rim. Jacob White with a defensive rebound. Gage finds Aiden, who's actually open, but not looking to push it. And coach wants to talk about it again. Oh. 
Yeah, and we'd like to uh, acknowledge a very special viewer out there, Marion McNabb. Yeah. Today is her birthday. 25 years young today, I'm going to yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. So Marion, longtime supporter of the Faith Falcons, and uh, um, we uh, wish her a continued recovery yes. um, from her injuries. But uh, it was good. It was great to see her out on uh, a senior, senior night. night. Yep. Yeah. And uh, and so yeah, so Marion, happy birthday. Um, we miss you at the games, and get well soon. Absolutely. And the boys are going to give you a birthday present, I think, here in less than four minutes when they seal the deal and get a first place. Bigger trophy. Well, uh, let's see. It's still 17 points under four minutes. I'm not yeah. saying it's done. I'm not. The boys have to play smart. Still have to finish it. But I'm joining in them in their confidence. There's a nice shot of an MVP. That's respect. Oh. Aim pulls up. No good. A little short on that rim. They have moved their best player to be guarding Jake now. And he'll try a three from the wing. It's good. Yeah, that looked good. 14 points. Go, Falcons! They... Ah. And an un uncommon... Oh. Aiden is going to foul out on that play. Mm. Unfortunate. So Caleb and David filling in now. So yeah, still not they're... out of the woods yet. Or out of the water, what do you say? Yeah, either way. There's a corner three from their shooter, but he's well short. Hopefully Caleb uh, has got some legs still to help Shot no good. Ian with yet another strong rebound. All about the clock now. Yep. Caleb, not, Caleb's a good ball handler, so having him out there should help. Stay high, stay high. And Ian gets fouled, no call. He sees himself trying to Euro. Gets short. David gets the tip back out. Ian finds himself open. Oh. Short again, shaking his head as he knew he probably had one there. Nobody down here to find number one, but they still get back in time. Ball takes a weird bounce and uh, one able to pick it up and scoop it up and score. So now, little tension rises as it's 2.20 left in this game. The last six points coming from leave the valley our 18 point lead now yeah. up to 12. yeah they're not giving up jake will try a three oh, turn, turn. and here comes an easy one gage gonna foul out again would have rather just seen him let that basket be scored stay out of the play that way because now you're done Unless I misunderstood the situation. Maybe Ian had the oh, foul maybe. that we thought yeah. was for Gage. He must he must have four now. There is a little bit of discussion from the scores table, but no. And the free throw no good. So I misunderstood on Gage. There was a foul we gave to him earlier that must have gone to Ian. Gage gets the rebound, but then turns it over and they get a quick shot, no good. Jake will get the defensive rebound and... Stay close, stay close. Under two stay minutes close. now. He's ready to help. Very aggressive. And finally a whistle after a lot of uh, contact. They don't apologize around for their aggressive. It's gonna be all over us. Oh. And Caleb throws a pass, it's a little too strong. Cougar tries to charge. Caleb with a good defense stop. And then a very awkward jump ball we're gonna get, and it stays the valley ball. 
A little awkward How's moment not a there. Foul grabbing behind. I don't know how that's not a foul. And the ball comes out to the valley. They work it around. They're looking for their shooter, and he mishandles it out of bounds back to the Falcons. Boy, I just a clean possession with the basket. Not early, not forced, unless it's there. And coach, coach is going to have some more words. He wants to see us seal the deal the right way. Wisely calls timeout. Getting, getting ahead. Back of the players. Settled down. Yep. Looks like David McNabb is going to be checking back in. Well, or, <laughs> nope. Doing the thing with his feet. He was probably already yeah, on him, wasn't he? We're now down to six Falcons that can play. Yeah, it's tight. They did not bring a lot down here, but um, if you're here, you're getting minutes. Yeah. Minute 30 to go. 52 to 40. Zip it. Boys in blue. Back out. And there's a full court pressure to get it to Ian. Ian, able to get by his guy. He'll find Cougar, who finds oh. Jake, who passed on a three, got oh. in, in a good idea, but it, it's stolen. Corner three, maybe? No. Wing three, no. Middle, wide open. It's, it's good. Yeah. And just under a minute ten here, minute five, reach in foul, finally getting called. But if you'll see up there, if that if that's right, that's only the second yeah. team foul. It's going to be a long way to go. So, I mean, if they don't, if they play aggressive, the foul's not called. They get a couple steals here. I mean, really, Valley can be they can afford to be aggressive. We're going to get a foul. Twenty four. That's. <laughs> yeah. Go easy. Gage open. Yeah. It's a quick one. And uh, it's only eight. Reverse spin, no good. Falcons look like they're going to get uh, hit pretty good again. I'm starting to feel good about this one, Coach. Uh, am I wrong, Coach? Uh, good job, Cougar. Good job. Good job, Cougar. We were at Smart Pass. Now we're going to be in the bonus. Cougar, opportunity to get back up the double-digit lead. I thought we were at 52-40. Did they hit two threes there? I didn't. I don't. I don't recall. I'm losing track. I didn't think it was down to eight. I remember they got down to nine, and then we got a. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because we got a basket. Cougar hits the free throw. Boy, our free throws are uh, huge. Yeah, you know, you can uh, you can count on Cougar at the line. I think he likes points too. Yeah. And surprisingly, they're going to call that on Ian. That could be Ian's fourth. I think they're going to call a full timeout. And with a nine-point lead, 34.4 seconds, I, I'd enjoy an 18-point lead a little bit better. That's, well, that's, just, that's, that's just my thought. <laughs> that's the part of basketball I really enjoy is it's the ups and downs in one single game, the, the highs and lows. It's, a, it's an exciting sport. Very proud of this varsity team. You really did not know what to expect coming into the tournament. Uh, sometimes they, they have other teams take it to them. Other times they're uh, in a dead block. But 
Overall, they've done very well in this tournament. 34 seconds. 55, 46. Good trap. Three on its way, it's off the mark. And Ian will get it and get fouled, but no calls yet. Finally a whistle, but you know what? Four clock off, that's, yeah, that's good. He, unfortunately, Ian looked like a pinball in there a little bit, back and forth. Well, I think we got about 13 seconds off the clock in that series. And... Two made free throws. Even one free throw here, and it's a four possession game. Yeah. Got the next one, Ian. It is short. Short. And Jacob there. To, they're going to get a couple bumps, but no contact. He goes for the dunk, and it's not there. And with 12 seconds, let's hope we don't get a dirty foul here. And uh, not dirty, thankfully. No, he was charging at him. Yeah. I wasn't sure. No, that was that was a good basketball foul. Yep. And uh, I think everybody here feels it now. Let's see if he can add to his points here tonight. Oh. Oh. There's always room for improvement, right, Coach? Yeah. yeah. A little humility just before the end of the game. There you go. He hits one. Four possession game, six seconds, three on its way. Oh, that's good. Oh. It's deep. Let it roll around, and that yeah. is your game. Sorry, none of you could see that. I got oh. <laughs> it was a good oh, attempt uh, by Miami. Yeah, you have to go off our word on that one. But Falcons, your first place Division Three champs. Congratulations, boys. Well done. Playing Very really well. good. Playing good this season. That's going to make that drive home a lot better. Should have some happy hearts on their way home. Yep. So we are signing off for now. We, I'm sure we're going to get some national coverage, too, of these boys. They've earned it. <laughs> and I will be out there, too. So will Coach White. We hope to be able to announce again. We'll see you next time.